with, with the kids, I think it, it, it's, I don't think it has to do with early in the season. I think it's, it was the total buy-in we had with the, with the kids in the program uh, to everything we've been doing, the success they have. Um, the biggest thing is, is um, I think you would all agree, some of you have seen, been in games and things, the, the, our ability to hit the ball. Uh, they bought into our hitting philosophies and, and what we teach and what we coach and, and all the things we've been doing. So um, uh, what's been unique about this and, and, and that aspect of our kids is, is, is what's fun is um, I think I get worried more when we you know give up three runs in the first inning <laughs> than they do. They come right back out and they act like this is not a big deal to them and, and they, uh, they go out and just do what they do and find ways to get on base and score runs and it's uh, it's it's – it's exciting to watch in that aspect. It, it truly is. This, these kids are have really bought into um, what we're trying to do and what we're what we're expecting of them, and, and they're just taking it to another level. How do you think Julia's performed? She went seven for ten this past weekend, and Julia, Julia was a, a a terrific find. Um, the joke on that one is, my wife, who um, we compete sometimes when we look at kids and, and recruit kids, and I saw Julia on some video and. She's one of the few kids that I, I just saw in video and, and come from a junior college and her interest in coming here because she's into education. And, and she's um, uh, a Canadian that's out of Alberta, but she was in Kansas at a JUCO. Um, I saw her and just saw something in, in that ability of her defense and her swing of the bat. And she was, uh, that's a pat on my back. I, you know, my wife hates to hear me say that, but that's, that's, that's gets to be mine. Uh, she was a terrific find for us in a very late period of time, uh, very late uh, part of the season right in the middle. Uh, and she's just been a great addition. She is a terrific, terrific teammate, uh, uh, ball player, uh, great game sense. She is. She's truly got everything that you're looking for in a, in a, in a well-rounded softball player. She's that that number two hitter that doesn't look like she has the power to put it up, but she's got a really fast bat. She's proven that she can do it. She she just finds ways to get on base and and, and excels in that. So. Had a few games to get used to everything. What's it like playing uh, in that dome out there? Uh, it, it's it's still tricky. I mean, it's uh, playing with the roof. You know, the dome rules, the roof rules, and things like that. We've gotten a better job of getting that down uh, down and in control, and, and where everybody um, uh, feels comfortable and equal with uh, the depth perception. Our outfielders. I, I've been out there, and, and when that ball's hit up in the air and, and out deep, it's that depth perception is just different. I and mean, that's where the repetitions come in. Our kids do a great job of reading that ball. I think our outfielders uh, have done a fantastic job to help our pitching on some balls that have been hit that probably shouldn't have been caught that have been caught. Uh, our outfielders work hard. My wife does a great job. Wife outfield coach does a great job of, of prepping our kids and making sure they're in great positions and, and great angles and trying to keep balls from getting um, hits that should be extra base hits. We try and keep them down to a single or a double when they could be a, a triple or you know something further. So. They really have done a great job of, of doing that, but it's getting easier. But it's still different you know, in all aspects. How has like your familiarity with your pitching staff come along? Just another weekend later. Uh, it, it's every week. You know, it's better. It's better. You know, we did something uh, our last game. I, you know, it is, again, it makes me look like a genius. My, my my players make me look like a genius. Is so we want to do something with a back to back double header, which we haven't done this year. We've played back to back games, but not the same team. This is with Providence, that was a first and purposely done to see how we're going to perform with just our two pitchers. And so I went with the game plan of we're going to try and ride Laura out the first game as, as, as long as we could, try not to make a change if we didn't have to, and then bring Kai in as, in the second game as we would do normally in a game where we might pitch one for three or four innings and then bring in the other two to, you know, to be our reliever. And then because we have another team coming in, they haven't seen the same pitcher. But um, again, my kids, the, the players, uh, Lauren and, and Kai did a great job of making me look very smart in that aspect. Uh, let's see if that continues doing that. But yeah, we're getting better acquainted. Uh, they're doing a better job of um, when things aren't working, shanking their head to left or right. You know, sometimes that earlier in the season they were afraid to you know, move that head left or right to let me know that's not what they wanted to throw. But we're getting better uh, at doing that. And, and um, So yeah, it's, it's getting better. Playing non-conference games, and you've got a while before conference. But what are some of the kinks you think need to be worked out here, sir? Um, you know, small things. It, it, it is some of the base running things. Uh, in certain situations, we had a, you know, it's some small, you know, first and third issues, whether it's offensively or defensively. Um, uh, just the small things like that. Those are small things we're trying to work out. The, the details I, it, as a whole, and as a program, we're, we're kind of where we want to be. We. 
key and the, and the challenge I made for our kids is, is I wanted them to dig deep and find that next level. As we get closer to conference, we're going to have to do exactly that, specifically since we only have two pitchers. Uh, we have to dig down and find that next level of play in each and every one of our players, and we know that they have that. So it's, it's finding that ability to do that in tight situations. So, yeah, I think, I think we're, we're getting better, and the whole idea is, is, is working and trying to peak at that correct time. We don't want to peak right now. We're, we're, we're still getting better. We still have a lot of things to work on. We want to peak as we're getting into the conference and, and getting ready, hopefully, into postseason. About the teams coming up this weekend, any, any football well, uh, Carol, we haven't seen, don't know anything about them. Uh, Crixton, we had a chance to see this weekend, and, and so we had the opportunity to see how they play. That uh, Crixton has a lot of talent, a lot of ability, and um, they're, they've got some things that they can do well. Uh, so we have to try and encounter uh, what they do well. They've got a tremendous amount of speed with uh, a couple of their hitters. I mean, they're, they're, they've got some good slappers and, and a lot of speed there. Uh, they do have some depth in pitching, so they have that ability to switch pitchers up a little bit. So yeah, we've got our, our, our weekend ahead of us in regards to uh, competing with both uh, Carroll. And, and again, it's nice to have that, uh, just playing the games and, and playing against Carroll and then also playing in a, uh, another Division II school, even one that's in our conference, uh, get an ability to gauge ourselves and see how we compete. That's why we played you know, Moorhead and, and, and did that. And I'll be honest, purposely done, I, did, I chose not to play Crixton last weekend because we're playing this weekend. It's, it's, it's you know what we do to try and make sure that we're Keeping ourselves even as best as possible and, and, and uh, helping ourselves out down the road when we do get into our conference play.